welcome back again today friends i want to film for you a low carb slow cooker it's like a taco casserole and it's uh it's amazing you can add all kinds of vegetables with it doctor it up any way you want you can honestly use the taco casserole inside taco shells and tortillas or low carb tortillas uh, for a variety of dietary needs for various family members however my kitchen is just like i I got a little bit of space to work with and I can't start cooking yet. We just finished our busy school day and actually this recipe because the ground beef is pre-cooked two hours on high and it's done. So it's about, yeah, it's four now. I can still pull this off. We can still eat it for dinner in a few hours. Gotta pick up my kitchen before I can get to cooking. Still really, really want to have a day here soon. We pull everything out of this kitchen and I do a deep reorganize and declutter, but you're not seeing that today either. But anyway, real quick, let's tidy up before we get cooking. Okay, so friends, we are going to 10 minute tidy, 411, go, let's see how much I can get done. me off when little folks move my ladder. Don't move mama's kitchen ladder. Okay, so 10 minute tidy turned into a 15 minute tidy. Tidied up all around the best I can, like I said. Of course now, when I need to make dinner, you know that selective procrastination? I really wanna rip the kitchen apart and cl deep clean and declutter. Now's not the time, Jamero. Now's not the day. Get this stinking dinner in the slow cooker. Got my tea heating up, so sometimes you all will tell me, you'll hear my microwave or my oven or my uh, dryer and think, it's mine, it's going off, but that's my oven. I'm going to have tea. We're going to make this dinner now. I'm going to stop there. But I'm thankful I even had it in me to do a 15 minute tidy, better than nothing. So for our beef taco casserole, I've got got a variety of things here. So I've got my four and a half pound pack of ground beef that we're gonna get cooking in a minute. Uh, it's, you know, perfect world, two green bell peppers, two variety color peppers. Also on our list, let's see, we're gonna need an onion. Uh, you need about half a cup of taco seasoning. I am using my spices to make some homemade taco seasoning this, this evening. On uh, a perfect world, it would be one can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, didn't have any, and then a can of just regular old diced tomatoes. So I'm just using two regular old cans of diced tomatoes, that'll be fine. Um, we're gonna get the meat cooking, I'm gonna chop the veggies, I'm gonna try to not burn the meat while I'm also chopping the veggies, you know there's always hope. Then we will get the meat in the slow cooker, add in just a tad of a thickener, let everything cook for two or so hours on high, then at the end we'll top it with cheese.
Okay, so whenever I opened the lid, this was a little more saucier than I wanted it to be, pretty loose, a little bit too much liquid. So I did uh, two teaspoons more of my thickener. You can, you'll just have to eyeball it. Alrighty, there we go. So again, enough heat in there, that's gonna take care of it in less than five minutes and then we'll serve it up for dinner. Here is the dinner spread on down and <laughs> Charlie's crying at the window at us. He, he likes to eat scraps off the floor. And here is how the beef taco casserole has turned out with its lovely melted cheese. And I'll show you how I'm gonna make my plate. Here is my plate, my real good mess going on there that me and my baby are not gonna mind. Again, you can do sliced avocados, black olives, so many things on top of this. Also, set out some taco shells i know that's way too many it will probably use like two boxes just for kiddos if they want to use this more as a taco filling or do taco salads with it they can use the shells thank you for doing that 15 minute tidy with me on the kitchen today it was certainly better than nothing and making this beef taco casserole in the slow cooker that's on the low carb side of things but again, doctor it up any way that you want. Just look down in the description below, click the first link in the description. It'll take you to this recipe over on largefamilytable.com. And I will see you real soon with another brand new video and new recipes and new cooking and baby adventures and another carrying on. So bye-bye.